every guys welcome back to the channel and this is the first time i'm having a talk video in my new apartment blessings upon blessings as you saw by the title of this video i'm gonna talk about my weight loss journey uh, and how i managed to lose fast <laughs> to fit into my wedding dress let's start with what i looked like First. I'm not embarrassed to put this on here because I know I'm gonna change and I'm gonna look different by December. So this is what I look like now. I see it's quite like big and bloated and I don't really have a bum. It's flat or a thigh gap. You can't really tell but they literally sit here. I want to change, I want a six pack, get rid of the rolls here. So I went dress shopping in August and my wedding was in November and I wanted this dress specifically. I've wanted this dress since I was 16 years old. Wow, believe it or not, first shop we went to, first dress I tried on, looked exactly like this. But this is what it looked like on me. So unfortunately, <laughs> yes, come sit. Yes. The dress was um, too small for me. I couldn't fit into it. The zip couldn't go up. It literally stopped here, and it had, and it was all the way to here. So that's quite a bit of room that I needed to be able to fit into the dress. Pretty much like this. There was this much that needed to zip up still. I couldn't fit it in, but I was determined. It was the dress that I wanted for years. I bought a dress that was too small for me and I was determined to fit into it by my wedding day. Pretty much it all boiled down. Every, every single like science thing that I have read, it all boiled down to half an hour of exercise a day and a calorie deficit. I did not spend this much money on a dress to not fit into it. And well, it wasn't really weight, it was fat that I had to lose. Three months to go till my wedding. I had three months to lose the weight. This is what I looked like before I lost any fat. I wasn't humongous, but I wasn't healthy. I was eating all the wrong foods. I was getting exercise, like maybe a few stretches and like a few push-ups. Because you need to burn more calories than you consume to start losing fat which i wasn't doing what did i do in the first month i focused on my calories so trigger warning i'm going to be talking about calories and total calories and calorie counting right now counting calories that is what i did for the first month I focused on the amount of calories I was eating. You can work it out. I'll leave some sites down below uh, that'll help you work it out properly. Because the healthy amount of calories to get in is between 1,600 and 2,000. That is the healthy amount, the recommended amount of calories to maintain. Maintain the weight you are at now. So I worked out, okay, I'm going to eat 1,200 calories a day. So that way I'm in a deficit of 400 calories. Then what you do is you write down all the food you can eat. So I cut out, uh, I started cutting out sugar, I started cutting out dairy, and I was very minimal with gluten. And I cut out all white carbs as well. So all white carbs, dairy, sugar. I still had my, my cup of coffee with my sugar a day, but that was pretty much it. And then I would have um, like a cheat day. It was normally a Friday or a Saturday and that is when I would have like snacks and something like yummy, like OTs. My stomach, my boobs and my arms. Those were my problem areas. That is what I had to tackle. So this is all the fruit, vegetables and meat I was gonna eat. I will also leave that down below. Now I have to say, okay, what meals am I gonna eat what are going to be my common meals that I'm going to have throughout the week? And I'm going to meal prep as far as I can to reach that food goal, okay? Then I downloaded the app MyFitnessPal. Again, if you are triggered by counting calories um, or eating disorder, do not download this app. But if you are fine with calorie counting, okay, MyFitnessPal, 
it, if you type in the name of the food, it gives it to you, put the number of calories in there. So what I did was I made myself meals. I wrote it down. This is what I would eat. So, and then I would look at how many calories each thing was, put it all together. And then that is what I'd see. Okay. This meal is this many. This meal is this many. This meal is this many. Blah, 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 blah. Next thing that I did was I wrote out breakfast, having this, da, 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 having this, da, 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 having this, and then change it up every few days. If you get bored of eating the same thing, you're gonna start eating something else. Really? Like, yeah. You're gonna look for num num. And then I made rolls. Now, <laughs> I don't know if anyone else is like me, but if I have a rule put against me, I get so like, you know, like I hate the rule. Then I start to hate the rule and I don't want to do it to make the rules as simple and as easily followable as I could. Okay. So rule number one, have, have protein at every meal. So, breakfast, lunch, and dinner have protein at all three of those meals. Second rule, I must eat food that is nutritionally dense, voluminous, with low calories. So that is salads, um, rice crackers, um, fritas, fruit, uh, certain fruits, <sighs> vegetables, and, and yogurt. Yogurt is also very good and can fill you up. Okay, so. That is what you look at. Oh, and quinoa as well. It's also part of the thing. Rule number three, drink two liters of water a day. Oh my gosh, I know. Ugh. We, everyone says this rule over and over again. But I am so serious. I am so serious. <laughs> like drinking that much water a day. Now, like now, I can drink three liters of water a day. Easy. So two liters of water a day. Okay that flushes out your system gets all the garbage out of you quickly and quietly number four no refined sugar and no white carbs number five eat little to no red meat uh, red meat is carcinogenic and it also um, is bloating and it can take your body a very long time to digest. It sits in your gut for a while. Healthy snacks between meals to reduce even the wrong things to be able to fulfill my hunger. The last one was to reduce my portion size. Somehow I gained weight so quickly is because I can eat the right stuff, but I eat a lot. So those are the rules that I followed and I did that for three months. So this was my basic meal plan. So in the morning I will have for breakfast, I will have two eggs and a smoothie and my coffee and a glass of water. For a snack, I will have a fruit or a handful of nuts or some crackers. Then for lunch, a protein, so it was either chicken or fish or a vegetarian protein or um, beans okay so it was either of those proteins and I had and it was those proteins for dinner as well as a salad or um, with a brown cob so a slice of brown bread quinoa or brown rice I don't like I, I don't like rice but the only rice I like is sushi rice <laughs> And then a lot of voluminous vegetables. But for lunch, yeah, it was normally like leftovers from the night before uh, or a salad or veggies, protein and quinoa. That was, that was my lunch. But make it nice, you know, like make it fussy, you know, pretty for you. Okay, make it like restaurant quality so you are excited to eat it. For dinner, I would just have whatever is being made minus the carbs so I wouldn't have any carbs at night so I would just have the veg and the protein that was there so if there was red meat happening I would make a vegetarian protein um, or have beans or something and then for dessert because I was still weaning off of sugar here I would have um, a piece of dark chocolate. You can 
get 15 Rand dark chocolate and you can get 100 Rand dark chocolate. It doesn't matter. So the first month, this is what I focused, focused on. Okay, so that I would know what are the right portion sizes for protein and for, for chicken and for oats and for my beans and a slice of toast. And then on a Friday or a Saturday, that is when I would go have my junk meal there. It's not really bad food because you can't look at food as good and bad. You have to look at it as what is a better thing to put in my body right now. Because the whole point is being balanced, right? That's the whole point. In the second month, I focused on the fitness, okay? During the first month, I still exercised, but in the second month, I really wanted to find the best exercises, the best um, stretches, the best cardio to do to target my stomach, my chest, and my arms. Monday to Thursday uh, at the gym for half an hour to 45 minutes. The exercise would be mostly weight training um, and cardio uh, in the same workout. And then on Friday or Saturday, I would do a fun active activity. Normally it was going for um, a three to five kilometer walk or walking on the beach, or swimming, things like that. Now, how I worked it out. Monday was full body day. So I did arms, legs, stomach, and chest, and booty, and cardio in one day. 45 minute session. Tuesday is arms. Wednesday is stomach. And Thursday is chest. In the second month, I knew what things were, how, were a certain amount of calories. So I slowly started um, not counting them. So I knew what I could and could not eat and how many, and the portion sizes. In the third month, I wanted to focus on my insides, like my gut and my stomach's pH. I really struggle with uh, acid reflux, it's very bad. Anything can set it off. Even water sets it off. Um, so I'm constantly in pain from here all the way down to my stomach. So I really wanted to fix that. But mostly I wanted to fix my gut. And often what happens the f is my food sits in my gut for a very long time and sore and my and my food just sits in my gut and it gives me terrible cramps. <laughs> so I really wanted to fix that. I think if I got my, I thought if I got my metabolism up then and fixed my gut, it would make things so much better. And it did, okay. So what I did was I increased my superfoods, chia seeds, sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, okay. I ate more nuts you can get nuts for quite cheap at food lovers market dried fruit i ate more dried fruit it is very good for you <laughs> uh, it really helps with your digestion i increased my legumes and i had more probiotic um yogurts so kefir k-e-f-i-r it is fermented milk but it's very good for you and more plain yogurt I saw such a difference but the two most most important things that I did during those three months to lose that fat was number one I didn't step on a scale the scale measures your weight not your fat Buy something you wish to fit into, like a clothing item, or use a measuring tape. Take a before photo, but don't rely on the scale. Rely on how you see the difference. Rely on the measurements. Rely on how the clothes fit you. Rely on the after progress photo. 
okay, didn't focus on a scale. I focused on what I actually looked like and how the dress zipped up because I've been down that road of focusing on the scale and it doesn't end well. Right, because, and a hard lesson I had to learn a long time ago was that weighing less doesn't always mean healthy and <clears throat> that muscle is heavier than fat. And I can testify to this that I stayed around the same weight from August till November, but I could see a difference in my body and I could fit into the dress. And the second most important thing is to just support. Support your mental health. So have supportive friends. Support yourself. Just support altogether. If your mental health is not going well, support yourself. Support it. Stop what you're doing. Stop stressing yourself out. Stop putting pressure on yourself. Rather, just stop and take it maybe three days of the week to eat healthy and the rest eat the way you did before and slowly build yourself up to where you want to be. Having supportive people around you. I love my friends and my husband. They supported me in that weight loss journey 100%. Asking me, how did you do today? How do you feel? How did the gym go? You're looking good. I'm so proud of you. Just having that support are for yourself, for your mental health, and having your family and friends as support. So those two things are the most important. A big difference. And here's a photo of me from my honeymoon that I took. You can see the difference. And I just felt so good. So yeah, that is how I fit into my wedding dress. No matter what journey you're on, no matter what path you're taking right now, I just want you to know that I'm proud of you and you are doing the best you can. And I know that if you wish to improve your life, you have the strength to do it. You do. Just believe in yourself support yourself, your mental health, and have supportive people around you. If you don't, body fat is not the weight you wanna be shedding. It is the people around you that you should be shedding. Shed that load, that is the weight you wanna get rid of, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. But now starts my new fitness journey. I'm going to focus on my entire body this time. My goal now, is to be leaner and stronger by my 23rd birthday in april <laughs> i want to reach the confidence where i can like go to gym in like a sports bra and not have a t like a really baggy t-shirt on at the gym and i hope that this information was helpful to you stay authentic stay kind he loves you and so do i bye every guys Kitty, say bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm. <laughs>